So I've got something that's going to blow your mind a little. Bear with me. If you take this triangle, which is flat, by the way, and you take a arrow here and you parallelly transport that, shifting it from here till here, keeping it parallel to the previous version that it was, it points in a certain direction. If you were to now shift it in this direction and then shift it here, it's going to still point in the same direction because it is a flat surface. If you were to now do this on a curved surface, like the surface of a sphere, something crazy happens. You take this arrow, you move it, you shift it, you parallelly shift it and you place it here. It's going to now point in this direction. But now if you were to take it from here and then start parallelly shifting it, it's going to point in the other direction. This is the idea of parallel transport on a curved surface and this gives rise to some crazy things. By the way, we are talking about topology here which is a crazy branch of mathematics. And in this surface, which is a curved surface, Earth is also a curved surface, right? So you get all sorts of weather due to the fact that you have Coriolis effects on this curved surface. Mind you, Earth is not a flat surface like that triangle. And this is not the end of it. Topology has amazing implications in condensed matter physics also, where you have materials that are insulators at certain topology and are not insulators at different topology and they are the same material so you do something with the magnetic field for example and they become an insulator and you remove that magnetic field breaking some sort of symmetry and they become a conductor for example and this my friends is absolutely mind-boggling